Hello, welcome back. We're doing chapter one, section eight, exploring transformations. I'm going to do the guided practice problems that in the textbook are on page 63. That's one off of the PDF for chapter one. So if you're looking at the PDF, that's actually scrolled to 62. There's a 63 at the bottom of the page, there's a 62 at the top. You guys will figure it out, it's okay. In this video, we're just gonna do problems two, three, and four. So I'm going to start with a point 0.42. So 0.42 is here. And what the heck, I'll just put them all in there. And I'm going to translate it based upon what it tells me to do. And then I'll graph it. All right. So I'm going back and using... Let me grab that paper. I'm going back and using this rule from the first video. All right, so I'm going to have that nearby. I want to go five units to the left. Left and right is horizontal. So I'm looking at a horizontal translation. It's left if the number that I'm adding is neg negative. Sorry, I got the hiccups. So if I'm going to go five units to the left, that tells me that my H is going to be negative five. And my rule, my point, X, Y, I'm going to add the H to the X, and I'm going to end up with Y. Y is going to stay the same. So my rule is xy becomes x plus h, and the y will stay the same. So my point is 4, 2, and my new point is going to be 4 plus negative 5, which is 4 minus 5, and the 2 is going to stay the same. That will give me negative 1, 2, and negative 1, 2 is right here. So where did my green marker go? Oh, right there. This is not part of the graph. I'm only going to do this for visual purposes. But what that meant was that this got pushed over to the left five spaces. All right, like that. Again, the green is not part of the graph. That's just me saying, hey, the thing moved. It's difficult to show the move with like pictures. All right, that's why I love Desmos. All right, number three. Now I'm going to do the same point, four, two, but I'm going to go three units down down is vertical and the k is going to be negative less than zero is negative so my k almost right over there is going to be negative three and my rule the x stays the same and i'm going to do y plus k so x y changes into x y plus k i start with the point four two like all these problems and 4 is going to stay the same, the x value. And my y value, which is 2, I'm going to add k, which is the same as, since k is negative 3, that's the same as 2 minus 3. And that's going to result in 4, negative 1. So 4, negative 1 ends up here. And just to use the green to show you where it went, it went that way. Finally, for this video, I'm going to do one unit to the right and six units up. So one unit to the right tells me that my H is going to be positive one, because to the right, H is positive. Six units up, my K is going to be positive six. So if I'm going to go up, I'm going to go K is positive. Now in this case, I'm doing both. I'm moving it to the right and up, and we'll see how that goes. Man, I hope I have room to graph it. Now ah, we can pretend it's okay. I'm gonna go. Eh, I'm gonna go a little bit higher. You know, no, I'm not. I'm not gonna change it. I was gonna change, just call an audible and change that to a six, but it, it'll be okay. It'll be okay. All right. So my rule. I'm gonna put both rules together. I'm gonna add h to the x, and I'm gonna add k to the y. So if I start with 4, 2, I'm going to end up, end up with 4 plus 1 and 2 plus 6. And my new point is going to be 5, 8. Which is off my grid that I picked, but it'll be okay. All right. So I'm going to go over 5. I'm going to go 8. So here's 2, 4, 6. Oh, man. So 8. Ah, that stinks. Eight's probably going to be right about there. And that tells me that my 
you can say that I went to the right and up, which I'm off a little bit, or you can just say you went diagonal. Now, if you're looking at that, I'll try to make that a little bit better, guys. If you're looking at that, you're thinking, wow, that's a right triangle. I wonder if right triangles has anything to do with this at all. And if you think about all the stuff with right triangles with like, I don't know, Pythagorean theorem, distance formula, some other stuff coming up, you're going to be seeing those later when we get to the idea of vectors. Later. Not now. Don't worry about it. It's okay. All right. So that's all you got to do with that one. I apologize about, about the graphs. Um, I should have made a different grid on that, but say la vie. Okay. Good luck.